We have looked at a lot of great dividend stocks on the channel, and this time we are going to look at 10 of the very best Canadian dividend stocks that will cost you $5 per share or less. <laughs> these dollar store stocks are cheap, but they are big on passive income. With these stocks, we will begin to save some bucks, and speaking of beginning, let's begin right now. When it comes to some of these smaller stocks, we always should bring with us a level of caution, as often the lower price tag can come with the potential for some volatility. There is always the question, how passive is this income if I have to watch it like a hawk? Well, for today's list, I looked at both their dividend yields and their fundamentals to try and weed out any real stinkers. A small stock with a negative earnings per share is usually worrisome unless they are obviously moving all revenue into growth. With this list, I think I only eliminated a couple based on their fundamentals. So without any further ado, let's see what I came up with. For number 10, we are looking at Amerigo Resources Limited, which has a ticker of ARG, and they are priced at $1.64 per share at the time of this recording, of course. They are in the resource sector, and they are primarily a producer of copper and molybdenum concentrates. They have operations in both Canada and Chile, though most of their revenue comes from their Chile operations. Their market cap is not too bad at $285 million. They have a yield of 7.317% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of $0.03 cents per share. Their earnings per share is 0 0.28, and they have a price-to-earnings ratio of 6.00. It will not be surprising that we also have seen their share price rise from $1.16 to $1.64 over the previous year for a return on investment of 41.4%. The resource sector is very solid, and with good fundamentals, this is not a bad stock at all. Coming in at number 9 is one of my favorite cheap stocks, and we have seen them before on the channel. We have Diversified Royalty Corp with a ticker of DIV and a share price of $2.98 at the time of recording. These guys are a multi-royalty company based out of Vancouver. They purchase trademarks as well as secure royalties, which really firms up their income stream and adds a little bit of extra stability to the company. They do own the trademarks for Mr. Lube, Air Miles, Sutton, Mr. Mike's, Nurse Next Door, and Oxford Learning Centers. And their market cap is a little higher at $365 million. They have a yield of 7.381% that is paid out monthly in the amount of 1.8 cents per share. Their earnings per share is 0 0.19 and they have a price to earnings ratio of 15.70. We have also seen their share price rise from $2.47 to $2.98 over the previous year for a return on investment of 20.6%. That is really not bad. And, like I said before, I do really like this one, and full disclosure, I have some of their stock in my portfolio. Coming in at number 8, we have Energy Income Fund with a ticker of ENI, and their shares, well, they sell for $1.60 each at the time of recording. They are based out of Toronto, and they are a closed-end investment trust with investments that mirror the S&P TSX capped energy index. Their market cap is only $4.6 million, so you definitely want to have a little bit of extra caution with this company. They have a yield of 7.5% that is paid out monthly in the amount of $0.01 cent per share. Their earnings per share is 0.04, and they have a price-to-earnings ratio of 40.00. We also have seen their share price rise from $1.43 to $1.60 over the previous year for a return on investment of 11.9%. I will add that their price was up and down a bit over the year, which is that volatility I talked about earlier. Moving into number 7, we have Mineros SA with a ticker of MSA and a share price of $1.07. This is a gold mining company that is based out of Latin America with mines in Colombia, Nicaragua, and Argentina. This is an established company and they have been doing well for more than 50 years on the Colombia Stock Exchange. They just recently listed on the TSX. So yes, technically they are not Canadian, but they are listed here, so I have included them. 
Their market cap is good at 321 million. They have a yield of 7.562% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of 1.6 cents USD per share. Yes, it's one of these companies that pays in United States dollars. So if you're holding this on Wellsimple, there would be a conversion fee on this dividend. Uh, their EPS is 0 0.20 and they have a PE ratio of 5.30. They have only been listed on the TSX since mid-November, so there really isn't enough data to look at their growth. However, on the Colombian exchange, they were down a little over the last year, but they are huge over there with a share price of $3,364. The words too big to fail seems to come to mind with this company. No one is really too big to fail, but I think this is a company I am not too worried about. And at number six is another company we have seen before on the channel, and that is Slate Office Street with a ticker of SOT.UN and a share price of $5.10 for the most expensive share you're going to see on this list today. <laughs> they are based out of Toronto, and they are an open-ended REIT with approximately 34 commercial properties in Canada. Their market cap comes in at $402 million. They have a yield of 7.835% that is paid out monthly in the form of 3.3 cents per share. Their EPS is 0.69 and they have a PE ratio of 7.40. Their share price a year ago was $4.39 and rose to $5.10 for an ROI of 16.2%. Most of that growth happened leading into last summer, and they have not really grown since then, so maybe not a company to get into for growth. Their dividends, of course, are nice. So now we break into the top five with Newport Exploration Limited, who has a ticker of NWX and a share price of 45.5 cents per share. They are an exploration stage company based out of West Vancouver. They have royalty interests in producing oil and gas permits in Australia, and they also have a mining project in British Columbia. Their market cap comes in at 48 million. They have a yield of 8.791% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of one cent per share. Their EPS is 0 0.05 and they have a PE ratio of 9.10. Over the last year, we have seen a lot of sideways growth, but over the last five years, they have gone from 27 cents to 45.5 cents per share. There is potential here, but I am still a little leery on this one. For our number four spot, we have Top 10 Split Trust with a ticker of TXT.UN and a share price of $3.85 at the time of recording. They are a closed end investment trust based out of Toronto. They provide their holders with exposure to the big six Canadian banks and the top four life insurance companies. They also utilize covered call writing strategy to maximize their returns. Their market cap comes in at 2.2 million. They have a yield of 9.409% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of 9.1 cents per share. Their EPS is 3.81 and they have a PE ratio of one. Their share price a year ago was $3.19 and rose to $3.85 for an ROI of 20.7% not too shabby. Yes, their market cap does seem low, but the rest of their fundamentals are looking pretty stable, and that could be a good indication of a nice little stock with some pretty good potential. Now coming in at number three is something we have never seen before on the channel. They are McKenzie Master Limited Partnership with a ticker of MKZ.UN and a share price of 77 cents. This company, also based out of Toronto, is primarily engaging in the provision of investment advisory services. They offer ETFs, multi-asset solutions, and mutual funds. Their market cap comes in at $4.8 million. They have a yield of 12.468% that is paid out annually in the amount of 9.6 cents per share. This is the first time we have seen an annual dividend on the channel. Their EPS is 0 0.10 and they have a PE ratio of 7.70. Growth has not been a strong point for this company. They have overall experienced negative share price growth over the last year and five years as well. This is not a company for growth at all. Their dividend is nice, but with their EPS being very low, this is a company I would pay close attention to if it were in my portfolio. 
Coming in at our runner-up spot, we have Zoomer Media Limited with a ticker of uh, ZUM and a share price of eight cents per share. They are based out of Toronto and operates as a multimedia company. They operate within television, radio, magazine, internet. As well, they also have a presence at many conferences and trade shows. The majority of their revenue, though, comes from their television stations. Their market cap comes in at 52.9 million. They have a yield of 15% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of three cents per share. Their EPS is 0.005, and they have a PE ratio of 16.50. Growth-wise, this is simply not a company for that at all. This is solely a dividend play, and with dividends this high, there needs to be extra caution as well. Now, we have finally gotten to our number one low-buck, high-dividend stock, and it is West Bond Enterprises Corporation, with a ticker of WBE, and a share price of $0.29 cents at the time of this recording. They are based out of Delta, BC, and they are in the manufacturing industry. They make disposable products for medical, hygienic, and industrial uses. Now you know who makes a lot of that paper you lie on at the doctor's office. Their market cap comes in at 10.3 million. They have an insane yield of 27.586% that is paid out quarterly in the amount of 5 cents per share. Their EPS is 0.02 and they have a PE ratio of 14.50. When we talk about growth, this company was doing awesome in the first half of the illness as there was no doubt a high demand for their disposable medical products. That surge has passed and their prices returned to pre-illness levels. When you only look at one year, you see the back end of the surge and it looks scarier than it is. Still, with a dividend this high, extreme caution should be the norm. I hope some of these stocks perhaps gave you a place to begin your research as these videos are the beginning and as always your financial advisor is the end. If you guys loved this video be excited there is way more to come until then why not watch one of these videos and before you jump into that content just be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next video.